<laughs> Meredith, what's wrong? I'm so upset. Did you, what, what's wrong? We're out of the playoffs, and this is supposed to be our year. I mean, the Jets are out too, and so like now who am I supposed to cheer for Calgary? <laughs> okay, you need to sort out your life, Meredith. The boss said if you can't, be prepared to go on the radio. Don't even show up next week. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We got a show to do. This week on the world famous Sea Fox with Meredith. So on Saturday, Big Data was in town to perform a show at the venue, and just before the show, the man behind the music, Alan Wilkes, actually popped into Sea Fox Studios to sit down and talk with me. We talked about the album 2.0, the tour, his hit song Dangerous, and also how he got so many big A-list celebrities onto his first full-length album. I just had a running list of people that I'm obsessed with, and uh, you know, between me and my management and Warner Brothers and. Uh, you know, various friends and whatever just started harassing people <laughs> <laughs> until they either committed or told me to leave them alone. <laughs> the Fox. On Tuesday night, the Jeff O'Neill Show threw a huge party at the Pint in Vancouver for the release of the Jeff O'Neill Show Red Racer Maple Bacon Breakfast Ale. I think that's the entire title of it. It's back again this year. It's version 2.0. It's better than ever, and everybody seems to enjoy the free samples we were giving out. It's a great beer. I don't taste the bacon. It needs more bacon? It needs more bacon. What if we garnished it with bacon strips? Perfect. Done. So very nice hint of maple. Uh, nice little bacon aftertaste. It's delicious. Tasty love bacon. Oh. There it is. And what do you think of the beer? Well, I'm almost done it, so it's good. All right? The Fox. Muse released their video this week for their first single off of their upcoming album, Drones. It's for Dan Inside, and it is beautiful. It features very precise choreography with two dancers to the music. And it's beautiful, it's dark, it's kind of haunting. And it leaves me with one question as I watch it though. How on earth did these people breathe, let alone dance, while kicking up so much dust? But there's nothing there. Drones is out in stores on June 8th. The Fox. And coming completely out of left field this week, Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins announced that he's joined TNA Wrestling as senior producer, creative and talent development as well. And this comes just after he announced his retirement from pro wrestling in November of 2014. Kind of a strange decision for him, but he swears that it is not going to affect his career in music despite it being a full-time position. Oh. And he also recently spoke out about wanting to be called William instead of Billy. Sorry, William. The Fox. And finally, the full lineup for the Seattle Bumbershoot Festival was announced this week. We've got it listed for you at cfox.com. It's going to be on Labor Day weekend. And here's a look at some of the artists you can expect to see. I'm glad to have this opportunity to tell you about the Bumbershoot of tomorrow. To see how it works, please watch the screen. In the future, your Bumbershoot tickets won't be paper. They'll be a radio wristwatch which will allow you to communicate with the Bumbershoot brain. What? The Fox. That's this week on the world famous Sea Fox. Join us next week as we continue to hand out cash with the Sea Fox payroll and get up to the usual hijinks. You can go to seafox.com to find more details on any of the stories featured. I'm Meredith. Told myself that this would be our year. But then last season ended off in tears. But now it's over and I try not to remember 